Hey, what's up, fellas? Um, my uh, One of my good friends that lives up on the hill uh, brought his son by to talk to me, and my wife happened to be here. Now, this young man is on his way to Stanford Medical School with the hopes of becoming an orthopedic surgeon. And his father wanted me to talk to him about the woman he has in his life. Who is a stripper? Uh, big butt, all the makeup, all the time, all the crazy stuff, the fingernails, anything you can think of what makes a 304 or a girl that is loud, obnoxious, rude. And the thing is, I spent from, it's 7.30 at night on September 10th, 2023. I spent from 5.30 to 8.30 talking to this guy about the difference that a good traditional woman can make in your life and how much absolute hate, discontent, and destruction a 304 or a woman like that can bring into your life. There's a reason why women, when they were younger, used to go from their father's house to their husband's house after the families got together and worked out whether or not they were, excuse me for that, whether or not they were compatible or could get along. That still happens in Mexico. I, I, they have, and let me, not, let me not make this about me. This is about that young man. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just get to the point. Gentlemen, you cannot mistake sex for a relationship. And if you don't think the women in your life, when you're single, moving through life and you're on a trajectory like a rocket ship headed for the fucking sun or outer space, no matter what. I was going to say the moon, but that's too close. You're, you're headed for super ultra mega success. And this woman sees it and she's trying to get her claws into you so she can get a piece of the good life without having to do anything. And I'm talking about women as well as men meeting you at the finish line. So he said, uh, my, almost, mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. I don't care if you think you're below average, if you think you're average, if you think you're middle of the road, high, middle class, super uber. You must understand that you are our future. And we, as older men, cannot, let, cannot afford to let you younger men keep getting taken advantage of. I don't have a channel because I need you to subscribe. Listen, I'm just trying to help you. Guarantee you that you should not, as a man, ever get married until you're at least 35. At least, at the minimum, 35. And that's when women hit the wall. Um, I know I'm probably beating this subject to death. Let me tell you something. Belle, Biff, and DeVoe said it better than I can say it. We never trust a big butt and a smile. That girl is poison. So I don't want you guys. I don't want to see you screw up your life because you had sex with the wrong girl. And if you don't think they're trying to get pregnant, I cannot tell you. And uh, his dad was telling me, hey, man, there's women coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> and, and it's from his high school. And the um, he's already taken advanced classes at the... Uh, El Paso Community College. And there's women there that are, he, he, he said, there's women that are four, five, six years older than them that are coming after him. 
in the anyways and stuff. I, I told him. If you're an older man and you have a good young man in your life and you don't want to run him into the same roadblocks, you can't just sit him down and just be honest with him. Look, women will meet you at the finish line and they will be there. Oh, we knew you could make it. They weren't at you. They weren't there. They're not going to put in the work. They're not accountable. They'll lie to you. They'll cheat you. They'll take your money and they will it will fuck up your life. So, I'll tell you the same thing I told him. She's not worth it. You have a good life, and you're going to be one of the top 30% of men in our, in our country. Um, you do not have to settle for a woman who's beneath you, no matter what that woman thinks about herself. Love you guys. I'm not going to take anything from you. You don't owe me anything. You're more important to me than I think I'm important to you. I'm going to do everything I can to help you. I'm not going to ever take anything from you. Love you guys. And you have to be careful, extremely careful, if you're, if you're smart intelligent about confusing sex with a relationship. Women are a dime a dozen. Good average men are extremely hard to find. Just go out and try to, anyways, I'll stop. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso, I'm out of here. Love you guys.